from Belfast, Weldor. Heaviest, but fastest in the heat. Reached the second round in the last wars. Has a pneumatic hammer and self-writing ramming arm. Six millimetre thick polycarbonate shell. I worry if the ground clearance is too great in places, though. Wasn't necessarily a problem last time around. Knocked out in round two by King Buxton, slamming it against the arena wall. The axe then pinned itself to the arena wall, and in came Killalot, and, uh, well, you face the... Shot was the message there. Out they went. Weldor from Belfast. Hi there, my name's Phelan, this is David, this is Damien. We're Team Weldor, um, this is our new robot. We were here at the Last Wars, completely new design. Hopefully we've got a far stronger axe than what we had last year. Pneumatic flipper. Um, last year we had a bit of a run-in with Sir Killalot. He snipped off our axe. Hopefully this year, we'll, everything goes well for us, we'll get an wee chance, we'll get an wee poke on this year. Robotiers, stand by. Little fly with Andy Hoskin at the controls on the right-hand side there. Little Richard in the middle. Here's something with Dig in the middle at the controls. There's Weldor. Fell him at the controls with half of Belfast City in there with him too. Interesting to see something here. They say it's got a little bit of welding, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of a razor blade, I would suggest, in Dig's household. Not a complete one. That's Weldor on the right now, and Little Fly coming rushing in with the 1000 RPM agricultural lawnmower blade spinning. I thought it was stuck for one moment. Something's lasted longer than it did last time around with the pickaxe blade coming in. Fast on Little Fly, bouncing away. Good aggression by something. Weldor uh, looking to cause some damage. Something spins away. The shunt in the top of your picture, bash to the left. He wants to stay clear of those. Oh, slam! Like Dodgem's in a fairground. Good even contest, this. Again, that blade seems to be stuck by Little Fly. Once it hits metal, it seems to jar, drag, and then uh, have a redundant spell. That's something with the great axe coming down once again. The big axe built for brawling, Jules described something. Low tech in the war against high tech computers. Something fighting back for the age old traditions, perhaps. Slam goes the axe on Weldor's frame. It'll need something to penetrate that six millimetre polycarbonate shell, though. But all the aggression from something, and Richard Dig, to give him his full name, at the controls there in the middle, is doing splendidly here. That's a little nudge from Weldor on Little Fly, and again it was something that came slamming in. Little Fly's rotational blade spinning, but not causing any major damage. Trying to get things going, Andy Hoskin at the controls, young Richard there from St Margaret's School in Kent, giving him advice. Something to the left-hand side, very even. This could go to the judges. Style control, damage and aggression. They'll be looking there to add up the points. Little fly, a little bit too slow for me. Four miles an hour, top speeds. That thing of the controls again of something. The aggressor certainly in the heat. On the wedge-shaped front of Weldor, trying to uh, get an angled run in so that the axe can cause maximum damage. Weldor back strengthened. A new robot for this competition, knocked out in round two by King Buxton last time around. Weldor, has it stopped, I wonder? Something is certainly still active, but that was the penetrating blow of the axe of something. And I just wonder, Weldor, I think, has been immobilised by that blow. Weldor has been immobilised. In comes Shunt now. Weldor's out of it. So the judges will not have to decide. Weldor has gone. Shunt with a smack of the axe. Bash in there behind as well. Very good even contest. It was one decisive blow, but the something acts that caused all the problems, and that's the end of the road for Weldor, Fellen Lundy, Damien and David in his team. Disappointment for them. Killalot's there with the blinking eyes of menace and destruction. The torch also a bash. They're shunt as well. But they survived Little Fly just the pit descends. And the destination of Weldor in to the gloom of the pit. Weldor came all the way from Belfast. They've got to turn around and go back again. They go out. I think that damage... Well, well, to be fair now to the wee, that wee small uh, little fly, he was doing us a lot of damage with his, uh, his flipper. A uh, wee spinning disc thing, and uh, I think he's done the majority of that there damage there. Um, he did 
remove one of my cables off my batteries and that's what actually immobilised this. And then once that happened, then the house robots just moved in. So kill that done that there, damage um, and shunt done that there. But basically there was nothing in there like but I was more worried about the Thontech speed controller like so, but it's it's hundred percent so at least I can go home now and start building for next year. Well, just to sense there, the power of Gillock can slice through. Armour plating Weldor has gone out. Joining Evil Weevil in the bin. This is how they'll line up later in the show. Tiberius against Little Fly and something against Mousetrap. The two seeds are out. While our surviving robots go off to oil themselves, I've got a question for you. Why are dolphins so good at pinball? It's because they've got an extra pair of flippers. Punchline. Let the trials begin! <laughs> Sorry, Craig, where was the punchline? Oh, tell me later. Our six robots to go to overcome Spawn of Scudder's mighty 245 points in this. From other seals, Banshee. They were in Series 3 with Shark Attack. They were knocked out by Beamoth, Graham Walker, Richard Jackson, Alan Martington, a retired art teacher with Banshee. This is a test of driving seals. skills, control, speed. Points around the arena floor. Two, one, activate. It's a barrels down, five points for each barrel. Not <laughs> over. In your own time, boys. Don't worry about it. Five points for each of the barrels knocked over. That's about 15 points there. Look, this is a speedy turn. Hello, I'm turning. I'm turning any day now. I'm turning. Oh, that's aiming at the 50 points, though. Across goes Bash to cover, 50 points scored! Steady progress, the word steady being emphasised, a grisly looking machine. You can't get another 50, by the way, by hitting that target again. Ooh, that's a speedy, nifty turn, yes! Building up a real head of steam now! And there's points for the multi-ball option, release those balls, 10 points for that. Each ball into the pit, another 5 points. Now, which way are we going, dear? OK, steady as she goes. I'm coming towards the ramp now, House Robots. Well, I plan to. Spectacular. Spectacular. Magnificent. Well, let's have a look at it again. They eventually got to the barrels. Yeah, that 15 points scored there. That's a good 50. Credit where it's due. <laughs> and the multi-ball release. And there we have it. Only 75 points scored. Gives you a sense of what Spawn of Scudder achieved. 245 and five strong robots still to go. Personally, I think I'm going to stick with the fruit machines. Right now, though, let's get back to the wars. Don't forget, Craig, the seeds have gone, so we've got something, the brawler against the mousetrap weapon. And we've got Little Fly with the agricultural lawnmower blade against the armor-piercing weapon of Tiberius from Brighton. This is going to be easy pickings for you lot, really, isn't it? Um, Tell me the garage door story. Well, it wasn't my garage door. It was <laughs> Sam's dad's garage door. <laughs> and the robot, what happened? Well, it smashed into the bottom of it, um, just for slightly bad driving. We just said it's slow. We didn't expect it to be very powerful and just broke through some bottom panels. So you're going to make small fry a little fly? Well, we'll do our best. Um, we don't, we're just, uh, yeah, we're not sure what's going to happen. Um, just try and keep out of the house for its way. That, and do a lot of damage to us. Well, it's your first wars, but it's their first wars too. So don't panic. <laughs> How's the uh, spinning plate working? Uh, very well at the moment. It yes. seems to have um, been effective in the first battle. Uh, we have managed to bend it slightly, uh, so it's got a bit of a kink in it, but it seems to be working, so hopefully. And if you were backing this match, uh, would you back yourselves? Oh, of course. No question about it. Yeah. No question about it, yes. So you're confident? Absolutely. Good news. Let's see what happens. Okay. Roboteers, stand by. Killer lot who hates little fly with Andy Hoskin at the controls, John Woodward and his nine-year-old son Richard, and there's Tiberius with the armour piercer. We had Sam Smith at the controls, the blonde Three, lad there. Two, one. Tiberius, students at Fort Lake Community College. Teacher John Coulthard, Simon's dad. Tiberius on the attack. There is the blade of Little Fly, which caused damage to Weldor in the last battle. 
I thought it was more superficial damage, I must admit. Looks like turning aggressively on the attack on Tiberius. Tiberius would be my fancy in this battle. A little fly has so far proved an underdog of worthy consideration. Bashed against the arena wall and very dangerously near the CPZ. Bash had a little tentative prod, went back in again. Now slamming it against Bash. Tiberius has set Little Fly up for destruction here. Tiberius again, the wedge in underneath Little Fly. Ground clearance of 50 millimeters under the fly. Tiberius very confident at the moment. You might say their attitude is a, a Little Fly. 